in uh, in one TV show called uh, a Supernatural series, we put about a hundred thousand bees in a room in an attic with five actors and fifteen crew members, and uh, two people got stung in that in that uh, in that filming. One was one of the actors was swinging her hands in the air, pretending that she was being stung by bees, but the bees. Where there are very few with the, uh, with her. They were mostly in the middle of the room and the camera was shooting through it. But there was a bee that she hit with her finger and then pinched it between her finger and she got stung in the finger. The other the other person that was stung was one of the cameramen put his eye on the, uh, his, his head up to the eyepiece and there was a bee on the uh, ocular. So he got, he got one right in the bottom of the eye. But uh, other than that, the other 21 people in there, 20-ish people never got, nobody got hurt. So Tiana, how are you doing? Are you just focusing or comfortable? Okay, so Tiana's good. You can see that she's got her eyes closed. She's just focusing. And it's a grounding experience. You know, uh, dozens of people have told me after this, they said, you know, that was awesome. I felt really like contact with nature, grounded. And because you're giving your trust to these, each of these, uh, these uh, female bees has a stinger in it and it hurts like heck to get stung. And you can take, uh, a normal person can take one sting per pound of body weight. So, you know, for Tiana, that's like 20 stings. But she's got on her, she's probably got on her now close to 10, 12,000 bees on her. And she should feel the, you feel the weight, yeah? She feels the weight as they cling onto the bottom of her chin, they start hanging on each other and there's this weight. So altogether the bees here weigh about three and a half to four kilos. Probably the, the most bees we've put on in the last uh, year and a half anyhow. So that's a uh, good size bee there. There's about, there's about uh, 30, roughly 30,000 on her right now. And, or in the air, on her and in the air. So with enough time, they'll all, they'll all land on her. So how are you okay with that, Jenna? Or? So, so the caution with her is not to put her arms tight to her side. I don't have to test it at all. Unless they have to keep it behind But they're not conditioned. So she's saying, uh, put the rest on. Put the rest on. <laughs> watch where you walk there. Right? Okay. So we just have to watch we don't walk in the front so that we don't step on them. How's that? Can we give her a hand for that bravery? Yeah. <laughs> or craziness, bravery or craziness. Okay, so now we can't take the queen cages off without taking some of the population away first. So just give her a minute, give you a minute to take some photos, and then we'll start to uh, start to clean her up. How's the camera? Are you comfortable in the yard? Are you okay with this? Yeah. Great. Okay. Good. Next up, right there. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Once you're
Okay, the cleanup is uh, will be a little bit tricky because we have uh, we have too many bees on her to go and just pull the queen cages off. There's a chance that we'll we'll push one of the bees into her body, so we have to shake some of them off first. And we didn't tape. Did you tape her queen neck up just yet? No. So we didn't tape her top up to her skin so she can't bend over too far. She can just jump up and down basically. So just do the first jump and then and, uh, and then shake your head. That's it. Oh, the weight was good. And I was ready for it. Okay, one second, wait for me. Okay, now the green cages come off, but uh, we have to be careful when we pull the strings off over her head that we don't. Uh, don't cause an incident with her. And the next one. So Eric will distribute them. So she, they'll still be attracted to her for, you know, if she stays in the yard for, for another half an hour. But if she makes it outside, out front, without a bee on her, and she's out there, the bee comes around, they probably won't, they probably won't be attracted to her. about uh, five or six minutes just get the bees a chance to settle and then that's the last demonstration of the bee yard till tomorrow tomorrow we do three more beards and at the end of the day we'll do another big one like this so hang around if you want to see the beekeeping demo and thank you very much for coming out much appreciated